Now let's take a look at actually installing Windows Server 2012. Now installing Server 2012 is surprisingly simple, but I want to step through it here and show you what you're going to see and what to expect and make just a couple of little comments because this could really help you on the exam. Remember, trigger some things about the installation that they could ask you. Now to begin a clean install of Server 2012, you want to take your installation media, the DVD, and boot the machine from that. So you'll put it in the machine, restart the machine, boot from that, and at some point it'll click and hum a few minutes. You will get this screen right here to install Windows Server 2012. Now I want you to notice that when you see this particular image on the screen right down here on the left, see where my mouse is moving, Notice, repair your computer. So right in this area, if you have any kind of boot problem or issues with Windows Server 2012, you can install that installation media, just insert that installation media into your DVD-ROM, and then you can attempt to run a repair from there. But here, we are installing, so we would click on Install Now. Again, it'll click and hum a few moments. You'll get this screen. Uh, you can choose your language. You can choose your time and currency format and the keyboard or input methods. For most people in the U.S., that's going to be pretty straightforward. You won't have to change anything. Just click Next. And then you will be taken to this screen, and you're going to be asked to enter the product key for your particular installation of Windows Server. Then you're going to get the screen where it asks you which operating system do you want to install. And if you'll notice, I don't know if you can read this, the type is somewhat small. We can choose a server core installation. We'll talk about server core later on in the course or the standard server with a GUI interface. And so we're going to choose, as you see here, the GUI interface, the graphical user interface. It'll click and hum a few more minutes and then we'll get the windows set up and we're going to read all the license terms, right? Take three or four hours, read all the license terms, uh, just like everybody always does, or you could opt to just check the I accept the license terms in the lower left and click next. And then it's going to ask you which type of installation do you want? And you're going to notice that you can do uh, an upgrade. And the way I kicked mine off, upgrade uh, was there and available. And if you start yours from a clean boot, uh, this will be grayed out. And then custom, uh, I can do a install Windows only. So I will just Continue past that. It will then ask me where do I want to install it. And notice I have some unallocated space, 60 gigabytes, and that's where I want to put it. You may see more choices there. Just choose the location on your disk or disks where you want to install Windows Server 2012. And then you can just kind of sit back and take it easy. It's going to go on its own from here for a few minutes. Notice it's going to copy the Windows files. It'll take a couple of minutes. It'll get the files ready, and then it'll install features updates. Then it will finish up, and this is the first hint you'll see of a boot, and you'll see the Windows Server 2012 logo and the little spiraling uh, graphic uh, image animation at the lower center of the screen there. At some point, it will come up and ask you, what do you want the administrator password to be? And you will type that in twice, and you'll have to conform to the security account policy, and if you don't give it enough characters or enough complexity, it'll warn you, but once you've completed that password, click finish, and then uh, it will take you out to the locked desktop. Uh, you will hit control alt delete and it will bring you right here. You can insert your password and go into Windows Server 2012. So notice not a whole lot of questions, not a whole lot of, nothing about Active Directory and setting up a domain or joining a domain. You'll do that as a process of adding the Active Directory services role later on. And you'll see that again later on in the course. So that's it for installing Windows Server 2012. Just remember all those steps. I would encourage you maybe in a virtual environment to install this a time or two just to make sure you don't get any questions on the exam that throw you.